Happy Tuesday. My name is Amy Tilly. I'm the chairperson for the Chamber of Commerce this year, Liberty Area Chamber of Commerce. And today I'm super excited that we have uh, Miss Debbie Weiss from Curves and Liberty with us. Um, Curves, in fact, has been a member of the Chamber since 2018. So thank you for your membership and your support, Debbie. And we are super excited to learn more about Curves and what you're going to share with us today at Lunchtime Live. So I'm going to send it over to you and uh, let us know um, what you have to share today. Also, if you have any questions, um, don't use the chat feature, use the Q&A feature and we will um, interject with questions throughout this presentation or um, we'll do them at the end. So feel free to put those questions in that Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. All right, thanks Debbie. Thank you, Amy. It's nice to meet you. Love the chairperson, love the Liberty Chamber. And actually Curves, while it's only been a member of the Chamber since 2018, we are actually coming up on our 20th birthday. Curves in Liberty has been around since the year 2001. So it's very exciting. Uh, come January, you're going to see a party in here. But I wanted to talk to you about stress. And I wanted to talk to you about stress in the pandemic and what we can do about that. Because I think all of us are feeling it. Stress is great. Stress is designed to help save us from predators, right? You have a stress response, you're going to have an adrenaline burst, you're going to have a cortisol burst, and you're going to either be able to fight or fly. So that whole flight and fight response is all a reaction to stress. And stress is intended to be very short term. You think about an adrenaline rush and you think about cortisol being released so that it can burn fat and burn the sugar in your body, you totally love to have stress. The problem is, and it's not just the last six months, in the last 10 years, stress has become the number one reason people call the doctor and make an appointment. It results in things like headaches and stomach aches and, and back pain and shoulder pain. And there's all sorts of reasons for that but mainly it's because stress has now become a chronic thing. And with the pandemic in the last six months, that chronic stress is starting to get to us. A lot of us are going to, you know, overeat, maybe even use alcohol or drugs or something to self-medicate to help reduce this hormone imbalance that we have in our bodies. Stress is a good thing. Short bursts, productive. Long, chronic stress, not good for our bodies. In fact, stress short term is designed to reduce the white blood cells. It's designed to reduce our immune system, basically, so that we can react to that predator. However, long term, think about reduced white cells blood cell counts. Think about a reduced immune system. Think about the fact that you're not able to process the nutrients that you have in your body because your levels of stress have not put down. But it is not all bad news because there are definitely things that we can do about stress to help relieve not just the symptoms, but the actual process itself reverse that hormone imbalance. Adrenaline in long bursts is not good for you. Cortisol in long bursts, that's the hormone in your digestive system that says, hey, store that as body fat, store that sugar, we're gonna need it because we've got stress. So I don't wanna talk for a whole long time, but I figured we're gonna spend about 15 minutes talking about stress and then I'll open it up for Q&A for you. Coach Debbie, I can talk about anything forever. So, you know, stop me if you need to. And I've got with me here today, I've got Coach Diane. And Coach Diane is going to be our model because I want to talk you through some things you can do to reduce stress and maybe get rid of some of this COVID-19. 
you know, that I have on my stomach. Mine's here. Yeah, okay, <laughs> all right. So you have really just a couple of exercises, tension. If you don't know what tension is, tension is actually a predatory response that we've had since caveman times. And that predatory response tightens up the muscles so that we can protect our spine so that predators, when they come to eat us, are not going to be able to get through as easily. Well, what that does today is number one, we don't have saber tooth tigers that are chasing us anymore. So when we tighten up all the way, can you turn around, Coach Diane? You have trapezius muscles, your upper and lower neck muscles. The trapezius muscles are going to tighten, and that is going to cause stress in through the neck, shoulder pain, and even pain in your pectoral muscles. You've also got a set of muscles that wrap around your spine called the erector spinae. Those muscles go all the way down the spine. These are the muscles that when stress creates tension, that is what it is impacting. And it is not good for you to hold that long term. It can cause lower body pain. It can cause shoulder pain. It can cause neck pain. And the only person it's gonna make happy is your chiropractor or your doctor because it's gonna take time to really work through that pain. So here's some things you can do about that to help relieve the tension. And we're gonna start with just a wide arm spread. Okay. So I want you to stand nice. Notice that when Diane is standing, her shoulders are even, her stomach, her core muscle group is completely engaged and she's flat on the floor. Feet are separated by hip width apart. Go ahead and face them again. Holding the muscles out like this is going to help stretch. I know I'm within six feet, those pectoral muscles, and that is going to help you relieve some of the stress in your upper back. But that is just one of the exercises that you should be doing. And when I think about the driving, I used to drive four, six hours at a time. That is something that is impacting the muscles in your lower back because it tightens up your hamstrings. So I want to show them the monthly challenge. Now, I had to switch from my iPhone to a computer, so we may or may not be able to see this, but the monthly challenge. You need to be on a step. Yeah, we can put you on, we can put you on a stairmaster. The monthly challenge is all about elongating the hamstrings and making them not as tight as they used to be, as well as working to improve those glute muscles which is going to improve lower back pain. And you're gonna start by reaching back with a slight arch and a nice deep breath. You wanna breathe in through the nose for a count of three and then blow out for a count of three as you bend forward. You're gonna hinge at the hip joint and you're gonna let those arms just dangle like you're a monkey. In fact, make a monkey noise because it's fun and fun is good for stress. All right, now in our challenge, we at the beginning of the month tell on the Stronger Liberty Together page, we will give you what our monthly challenge is this month. It is always designed to help something. And this one is designed to help elongate those muscles, but reduce your stress. 40 seconds is all it takes today. And Coach Diane can get up or is she just taking a nap? I'm not sure. Uh, that 40 seconds today would be 42 seconds tomorrow. So do this monthly challenge, reach back, bend forward, deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. That is going to help you relieve the lower back pain, elongate the hamstrings as well as those glute muscles. And when I think about all the things that our kids are doing and those of us who are working from home in an office environment, you are shortening all of those muscles and that is causing lower back pain. Add that to your stress and you're just messing up your whole nutrient system. Okay. The other one I wanted to show you is a stretch for the anterior deltoids, which is the very front of your shoulders. So what you're going to do and Coach Diane is going to stand to the side 
so that you can see. She's gonna reach her hands behind her back, clasp the hands down the base of her back, and I want her to pull those hands off her butt, but I also want to see those shoulders come back. You're going to squeeze those shoulders together. And what that is going to do is it is going to stretch those anterior deltoids. And you want to hold this stretch or all of these stretches in a static uh, position for 10 to 30 seconds. So thank you. Does that feel better now? Yes. All right. When you play too much Candy Crush, <laughs> You are shortening, okay? I, I might resemble that remark. You are shortening these muscle groups. When you work on the computer too much, you are shortening those muscle groups. So once an hour when the kids are doing their homeschooling, once an hour when you yourself are doing your computer work at home, you should be getting up and you should be doing that shoulder stretch press where you are actually increasing the blood flow and releasing the tension in your upper back. Um, I was going to have her do one on the floor, which I cannot do because I don't have my phone. Um, it was going to be a pelvic tilt. So I'm going to let Diane think about that one for a second. Uh, the pelvic tilt should be done on the floor. What it is going to do is it is going to relieve the stress in the lower back and it is going to work on the abdominal muscles and the other part of this is it'll work on the iliopsoas right here which is going to help your hip flexion all of these stretches are designed to help you improve your stretch the most important thing you can do while stretching and doing these four simple stretches that i'm going to give you is deep breathing in through the nose out through the mouth in fact, meditation is one of the many ways that you can reduce stress so that you can take your body from that systemic uh, bad stress into the after stress, which is about resting and relaxing. Did you think of something? Just the one that we did. Okay. The only other one I love is the hug. The hug. The hug. I have my ladies do it. So, yeah, no, that doesn't. I'm thinking for the lower back. Oh, oh you're bending forward. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do a nice roll. Give yourself a hug. So, give yourself a hug and then very slowly roll that spine forward to feel that stretch. And if you're pushing out with the lower back, you'll feel it to the lower back, but you'll also feel it up through in between the shoulder blades as well. It's a nice rounded back stretch. And then you'll roll back up nice and slow. And the last exercise I'm going to give you before I turn this over for Q&A is really going to be the standing side stretch. No. So. You want the lateral? Or are we doing a cross? You are doing crossing your feet, right foot over left in this instance. I want you to raise your right hand. Notice that Diane's hand is perfect alignment. She's getting a stretch from the elbow all the way through the triceps in through the oblique muscles into the rector the abdominal muscles it's going down her leg and it's even going to the it band around the knee so what you can do make sure you keep that arm straight but you can also bend just a little bit to the side and increase that stretch but that stretch along with breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth is going to help you to relieve stress as well as reopen all of that misalignment that you may be getting from sitting too long or sitting with poor posture it's going to help you realign those muscle groups because that is important to relieve stress She's doing the other side, isn't she? Yeah. I can barely see this because the window's like, you know, two inches across. Well, whatever. Perfect. Whatever. You're going to do one. You need to do the other. It's all about balance. And don't worry. You are going to be different on one side from the other because we all have a dominant side. The worst thing I can say about the misalignments that are happening because we are doing so much at home in poorly done chairs, not ergonomically designed offices, is we are misaligning the joints and those misalignments actually misalign our nutrients. It, it, it prevents us 
from being able to process the nutrients that we need to combat the adrenaline and the cortisol being created by the stress. So you definitely need to just step back, pause. You need to breathe, sit down, do some box breathing, sit down, cross your hands, breathe in three seconds through the nose, hold it for three seconds, blow out for three seconds, hold the air out of your lungs for three seconds. That is gonna help you put your mind back in the right place. You do the stretching, so you're putting your body back in the right place. And those two little things right there are gonna help you reduce stress and they are going to help you redo and get back on track with new normals. Hate that term, but to get your body back to where it needs to be to be healthy. So don't eat any processed foods. Don't over imbibe in the alcohol. Don't eat too many cookies, which is really hard for me. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're stretching every day. And this does not mean men or women only. This is everyone. I've seen too many kids this summer come in here that play too many YouTube videos and they have shortened interior deltoids and they cannot even reach the floor when they're doing that forward bend stretch. So I'm gonna open this up for Q&A. I think Amy needs to retake over or something. Something needs to happen. I'm not sure what it is. Hi, Amy. Hi, Debbie. Thank y'all so much for walking us through those stretches. I don't know about uh, the folks that are on the call today, but I certainly have been working differently, sometimes working from home, and I can definitely tell the difference in my lower back and my shoulders. So I'm totally going to be trying some of those stretches. Um, I will so send them to you. <laughs> Love that. I would love that. So um, I don't see any questions in our Q&A, but I do have a question about curves in general. So if someone logged on today and walked through these stretches with you and wants to know more about curves and how they can get involved and where you're located, can you just give us a little background on that? Sure. So curves has been uh, right next to it's terrible to have a gym right next to one of the best restaurants in the city. Uh, but we are right next to Conrad's restaurant in the Triangle Crossing Center. And you can reach us in a multitude of ways. I think one of the most convenient for everyone is to use the Curves Strong app that you can do on Google, uh, Android, or iPhone using the App Store, because that allows you to see the schedule that's available. It allows you to use at your leisure, set up your own appointments, see how many people are gonna be in the club when you want to come in. But you can always use a telephone. And so the Curve Strong app is available, but the telephone is also available. And our number is 816-415-2878. And we also answer instant messages and responses on our Facebook page, which is Curves Liberty Mo, because that's really creative. <laughs> oh, I'm not the most creative person. So. Well, you know, you can't get too creative because then sometimes people can't find you. So I exactly. Think, I think that's totally appropriate. Well, um, I don't have any questions in Q&A, but um, Debbie and your team, I want to thank you all so much for um, doing this lunchtime live today. I think it's so timely and so helpful. Um, we're all feeling the stress of this, as you said, I don't like to say new normal. And um, it is it is definitely needed. So thank you for that. Um, I do want to let everyone know we have another lunchtime live coming up on September 1st. And that is with Mary from Freckled Lamb. She'll be walking us through some new fall fashions and giving us some fashion tips and taking your questions. So after uh, you've gotten all loosened up and um, come down a little bit with our friends at Curves, then um, Mary will be able to outfit you. So you look fabulous for the fall. So thank you all so much. Thank you for tuning in today. And uh, thank you to the Chamber for hosting this and giving us the opportunity to connect today. Um, I miss seeing people in person, so it's so nice to see your faces, even if it is over Zoom. So thank you, Debbie. And um, hopefully we can see each other in person soon. There you go. Come on over.